Stay tuned to see what four projects I make with these three transfers that are from the Creative Kickstart collection that you will not be able to get after January 31st, 2022. Well, hello everyone. Hopefully you're doing pretty well today. Welcome to my channel, Crafty Chalk and Creations. My name is Deborah, and I'm an independent designer of Chalk Couture. Today is going to be a little bit different of a video. For one thing, while I'm recording this, I am doing a live in my Facebook group. Uh, so if you would like to join that, it's a VIP group. If you'd like to join that, comment below join, and I will send you the link if you'd like to do that. And I... I'm going to be doing four projects today using the Kickstart transfers, okay? From what I understand, today, the 31st, will be the last day that you can get these. I'm not sure they're being retired. If they're just pausing them. I don't know. But Kickstart ends January 31st, and this is why I'm doing four projects. I wanted to do some videos sooner, but unfortunately, my husband is very ill, and there have been a lot of doctor's appointments and things going on in my personal life that I have needed to take care of. So um, I was not able to do these videos sooner, and I do apologize for that, but I'm trying to show you some projects that you can do with these, that way you've got time to get these today, January 31st, if you would like any of them. All right, I'm going to start my Facebook Live while I am uh, recording this video right now. So you're gonna hear me repeat a few things maybe within the group. So. Hello, Facebook. I am, um, I'm also recording on YouTube right now. Just wanted to let you know it's not YouTube Live. I found out this evening that it, I cannot do YouTube Live for another 24 hours. Did not know that. Otherwise, I would have engaged it sooner. But I wanted to uh, get on here and show you some pro projects today with the Kickstart transfers, the Creative Kickstart transfers. That as far as I know, they are going to be removed on the 31st. So, projects I'm going to be doing because um, I did a little live video and I wasn't sure about this one. And then I, <laughs> I was doing dishes and I cleaned the cookie sheet, not the one I'm going to use. But I thought, oh, that's what I could put this on. Cook, eat, clean, and repeat. I can put it on the back of a cookie sheet. And if yours has a hole in the, in the handle, you can put it on a hook or you can put it on a display easel. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be doing Love is Brewing Fresh Daily. I'm going to be doing that on the board and base. That will fit on there perfectly. On the back side I have that. I still have that. With things that have been going on in my life, sometimes it's a little hectic around here. And then this, I'm going to be doing the transfer, what is it called? Feels like sunshine. And I'm gonna, I've already pre, to save some time, I've pre-waxed some cardstock. You can see it has a sheen to it. I probably overly waxed it, but this has a texture to it. So I wanted to try to make sure it was as smooth as possible. I'm, I might have a little bit of, um, I don't know if we're going to call it bleed or not underneath. I'm going to try to prevent that, but there's no guarantees. And I'm going to do a little something here with this thing on a smaller card, on a smaller piece of cardstock here. And this is a retired transfer that I got during Christmas when they were having um, some specials on some transfers. I'm going to do the little shell underneath there. So, a lot to do, a little bit of time to cover. I've got appointments with my husband in the morning. So, I'm doing this in the evening. We haven't figured that out. <laughs> so, the first one I'm going to start is on the cookie sheet. Okay, I'm not going to do any board uh, bows or frills, but you are welcome to because this is like a medium size. I think my wording is just going to fit on there. So, but if you have a larger cookie sheet you want to use this on, do this on, by all means do. And if you want to add a bow, please do that. All right. So I'm going to get some of this. I've got. I need a bigger table. That is what I need. A bigger table. Okay, I gotta cut this apart. I'm not gonna be using any of uh, the little accessory, the silverware, that I'm just gonna use this. But along these lines here, you can go ahead and cut these. These are a mesh transfer. So these are reusable. <clears throat> Excuse me, Chocotour says you can reuse these. Anywhere from 8 to 10 times, some designers have stated they have gotten much more longer use out of that, out of them, I should say. 
I'm going to cut this little piece off here. That You could use that for like a little border or something. And you can use these on other with other designs. But I want to show you the whole transfer. I could have saved time cutting this earlier, but I want to, wanted you to see how it looked in its entirety. I did forget to mention, my apologies, if you have not seen any of my previous videos before, your transfer does come in a plastic sleeve like this, and it has a sealable flap. It also has instructions on the back. You want to be sure to keep this because you can use this for storage. And your transfers are stored on a backing sheet. And I will be writing, you can just put a mark on there, you can write what it is, however you choose to do it. Um, I'll just demonstrate that. But because the back of the sheet is matte and the side that your reusable transfer is adhered to is shiny. So that way if you're in a hurry and after you clean and your transfers are dry, they get sticky again. And you know which side to adhere it to. So I'm not going to be using these, so I'm going to put them back into, okay, this is the coffee one. I'm getting myself, all right, cook, eat, clean, there we go. See right here on the bottom, it does give you your name, the name of it. Hopefully you can see that. I wanted to be able to record live on uh, both YouTube and Facebook. But as I stated earlier, I did not know I needed to activate that 24 hours in advance. Otherwise, I would have. Live and learn. All right, so I'm going to put that there. All right, so I'm going to write on here, cook and eat. And then I'm going to put clean and repeat on this one. Now, this would be really nice if you had a long piece of wood or uh, a piece of board, and you could just do it all the way across and maybe hang it over your stove. But I'm going to be doing it in sections. I'm going to do the cook here, eat, clean, and repeat. And instead of having hearts, like in between here, I'm going to put the hearts on either side. All right. And I'm going to be using the white paste. I wasn't sure if I wanted to use white or black. I'm going to try the white. If I don't like the way the white looks, I can clean it off because I'm using the paste. This is water soluble. I can go ahead and clean it off and I can just use the black. The little hearts I want to do in the shimmer crimson. I absolutely love this color. I'm glad they're not uh, retiring this color. So, because they're coming out with their uh, spring summer collection February 8th. And I've gotten a sneak peek at the catalog. I'm waiting for my catalog to come out. Oh my goodness, I absolutely, I'm so excited about this collection they're coming up with. It's more geared towards like lifestyle, things, you know, things, you know, hobbies, things that you enjoy doing. So I'm going to be doing this in the white. Um, let me get my scissors out of the way. I need my fuzzing cloth. I'm not sure if the fuzzing cloths are back in stock or not. They were out of out of stock. But if you do not have one, if you've got a bath towel, if you want to use a sweatshirt, you know, something like that that's just going to take some of the stickiness off the back of this, then just go ahead and use it. Now, what you need to do, because I've already marked the back, all right, you just peel it off, and hopefully you can see that, and see there is a shiny side. I've got, I've got two cameras going on here, so I'm trying to make sure everybody can see. And just peel it off, and then you fuzz. And why you fuzz is that way, if you use it straight like this, and you adhere it to a surface like this, because I have not waxed this or anything like that, this is going to stick on here like it would on glass, and which is very strong. It will stick on there very strong, and what could happen is you could stretch and distort or... Uh, you know, ruin your transfer and you don't want to do that. So I am going to have to fuzz the fiddle out of this uh, as much as possible. So you want it probably like post-it note sticky or a little bit lighter than that if you're going to put it on a really smooth surface. So I will be fuzzing this like crazy. And uh, I'm not sure how long this is going to be. Most of my YouTube videos I do try to keep about, you know, 
30 minutes, 25 minutes or, or under. But because these transfers are going to be removed at the end of the 31st on February 1st, I wanted to give you some ideas that way you had an opportunity to get these. And at any point during this video, this is for my YouTube subscribers, or not YouTube subscribers, thank you. Um, yeah, I, I, I think I have 61 or 62 at the time of this. Thank you so much. That, I mean, I'm just so excited about that. Thank you. Um, but what I was gonna say, if you, uh, at any point during this video, you like anything that you're seeing, or any of this information, or these ideas, or inspiration, Please be sure to subscribe and like this video and also click on that notification bell so that way you will be notified of whenever I do a video. You know, it helps me with YouTube algorithm and uh, I would greatly appreciate that. And I'm very thankful for those of you that have subscribed already. And I'm thankful for those who are in my Facebook group. And like I said, you're on YouTube watching this and you'd like to join, just comment and join in the comments and I will uh, post a link so that way you're welcome to join. Chocotour ships to uh, within the United States and to Canada. Unfortunately they do not ship overseas to other countries at the moment. I'm hoping they're able to get that done here soon because I have a couple people in the UK that would love to get some of this. All right, I think I have fuzzed this. Watch, it won't stick now. I've been over here flapping my jaws. Okay, sometimes you will um, You'll get a little fuzzy. Oh, I'm so sorry. Bumping. Sometimes you get little fuzzies on there. You just need to check. All right, I'm going to set this aside. And I'm going to try to line this up. Now, if you like to measure and be precise, you are welcome to do that. I am i don't do that. I just eyeball things. Okay, we got it there, there. All right, because I'm going to put my hearts on either side. I've got to try to space this out for words. We've got that one. Clean. Repeat is going to be on a curve, so I need to bring this up a little bit. And I probably should have used a larger one, but hey, grab this one. All right. Need to come down just a skosh. But yeah, I'm going to be using the paste. If you didn't hear that before. It is water soluble, and I'm going to be, oh, you know what, I may have fuzzed this too much. Let's see how this goes. And then what I do is I just smooth it out with my fingers. So that way, you, you know, you try to get out any wrinkles or if you might feel any little lumps or little fuzzy bumps underneath there. That way you can pick it up before you... Put your paste on. All right, I'm going to do this in white. We'll see how this goes. Now, I'm supposed to, we should stir it up, but I think it's okay for right now. And I've got my little multi tool. I'll probably use that on the hearts. I love that tool. Um, I use this for storage, as you can tell. Okay, and this is the small squeegee. All right, for those of you that don't know, and this is the mini squeegee. Mini squeegees are sold in packs of 12, and this is the small squeegee. These are sold individually. But I'm going to use the mini squeegee. I guess it could use the, well. Anyhow, and these are the stir sticks. These are sold in packs of 24, and these are reusable. You just go ahead and clean them off. You can use them to stir up their paste in the jars. All right. So you just dip a little bit in your jar of paste, or if you have the packets. This is my own little tray here, a little ceramic tray that I use, and I just use that to lay my squeegees on. All right, and then I'm just applying this generously on the transfer, because you can always scrape off the excess, which you want to do to make sure you have a good, even coat and coverage. All right. And you just scrape off the excess into your jar or on your plate. And you want to scrape off the excess so you can see it underneath. Now some paste or inks will stain your transfers. That is perfectly fine. 
It does not damage your transfer. All right, on that curve there, I'm trying to get the top of that C. This might be a little crooked. We shall soon find out. Now for the peel and reveal. Now, if I didn't fuzz it as much as I did, it would have really stuck on there. That's about how you want it to come off on metal. I'm not sure. You think I should do the black? Because it's going to be hanging up. Hmm. I'm not sure. Because it looks awfully light on here, but when I hang it, have it upright, it's, it's darker. As you can see there, that's how it's going to look. You know what, I'm going to leave it with the white for now. And after I hang it up, if I don't like it, then I'll... I can always change it. Eat. All right, we're going to make sure... Okay, we're going to do clean here. And then repeat. That will work. That will work. Actually, I can probably come down just a little bit there. Now I'm going to put the hearts on it when I, I'm done with this. Okay, I usually put my finger in the middle, up, down, side to side, and then I smooth out. Try to make sure you have a good smooth adhesion. Or I keep saying, adding the R in there, it, it, that it adheres to your surface really well. All right. And then you just do the same thing. Once you feel comfortable doing this and you've done it a couple times, even one time, you're like, ooh, this goes by pretty quick. I'm just taking my time to make sure that I'm explaining things because you never do know when this might be the first time anyone has seen this. And this is all new. And it took me a while to, to grasp the concept, you know, with the pace, you know, like, well, how does this stay? But it's, I, once I did a little bit more research and, uh, Realize, oh, so that way you can wash it off as long as it's on a reusable surface. You can change out your design. I thought, oh, I really like that. Okay, that's the eat part. All right, I was going to spritz this, but I can't right now because I need to, to use the hearts. All right, now I'm going to have to fuzz the fiddle out of this one. I should have done my fuzzing all at the same time. Because this is going to take a little bit. All right, seeing this is going to take a little while to prevent or minimize drying of my paste. I'm going to put my lid on there. I may have to wipe off my squeegee. But like I said, if you do not have a fuzzing cloth, use a bath towel, dish towel. You can use your shirt, sweatshirt, as long as it gives some fuzz. Because this is sticky and you would just want to remove that tack. The only time you don't need to do this is if you're going to apply it directly onto fabric. And if you're going to use ink. I mean, you can use the paste on the fabric. I haven't tried uh, using the paste on the fabric and washing it to see what happens. I've only used ink. I'll have to experiment on that. I have a lot of ideas, a lot of experiments to try. But I do need to fuzz this quite a bit. Because I didn't think on uh, the cook and eat part uh, transfer. I thought I fuzzed it too much, but you know what? It was just, just right. If I had fuzzed it any less, then um, it would have really stuck to that metal tray. But yeah, you could use this all as one long piece. You could just use the individual words. So this is project one, and I have three others to do. Uh, the one might take some time. I might just only do part of it to give you uh, the idea and then take a photograph of the completed project and post it at the end of the video on uh, YouTube. Because I have a little, a bunch of uh, pieces of yarn I want to attach to the bottom. 
you know, Lark's, Lark's head knot, so it might take a while on that one. Okay, let me see how the back of this looks. All right. A little bit more. There's a little fuzzy stuck on there. And I'll tell you, sometimes it's those little fuzzies that get on there that can create a little lump on your trans on the underside of your transfer are hard to get off. All right, we're gonna give this a go. Right, we're gonna do the clean. I just kind of eyeball it, like I said. I think I could come down a little bit more. There we go. Oops. Hold on. What is oh, that's just a scratch. I thought there was something underneath. It's just a little scratch on the back of my cookie sheet here. I hope it didn't fuzz this too much. That's what I thought with the last one. I may have. I may have overdone it here. All right, I'm going to use this. Let's see if I can sew this on here with the squeegee. Sometimes I do that. All right. I'm gonna go to the white. Now I put this on generously, like I said earlier, you can go ahead and scrape off the excess. I probably should have cleaned, cleaned my squeegee off. And these squeegees, uh, one side has a bevel side, that's the side I'm using to scrape off the excess and to apply it. Sometimes you get the, the paste or the ink on the back, you can use that to spread it out, out on your transfer. We will lift this. There we go. And now we're going to do the repeat. I keep saying we, like you're, you're here with me, but I guess in a way you are. I guess I could have spaced this a little bit better. Oh well. And this is water soluble, so I can clean this off and use my cookie sheet when I want to, when I'm ready to use it. Okay. Definitely clean that off. I'm gonna put my cap back on. And I'm going to peel this. All right, I'm going to lay this trans. I usually uh, take them to the sink right away and you clean them, but I'm not in that situation where I can't at the moment. So I have an extra towel over here. I don't know if you can see that or not, that I use for artwork and painting and what have you. So I lay it sticky side down because you don't want to soak these because it because the soaking could cause um, cause the water to start working on the, the tackiness, you know, the sticky part. And I just spray it to try to keep that mesh wet. But I did not do that with the first one to cook and eat because I want to use the heart. So I'm hoping it's okay.
Now I'm going to use my multi-tool for the heart and the shimmer crimson. Oh, I just love this color. I don't know if you guys can see that. The way this is set up, I cannot see the screen on Facebook. And this is going to be really quick. I love this little multi tool and I love this color. That is pretty much it right there. Done and done. Boom. Oops, sorry. Bunch of there. Um, trying to position this. I'm going to have glitter all over my fingers. Just press that down. Lift. I have no idea how close this is, but you know, oh well. Still have some paste on there, so I'm just going to put that on. Yeah, it's a little crooked. Oh well. Not the end of the world. All right. I'm going to put it over here. All right. I think that'll be okay. We shall soon find out. Sorry about that. On there. Oh, I just scraped it off. There we go. So yeah, if you have a cookie sheet, mm, all right. Clean, see on. All right. I hope that's about right. Glasses are falling off my face. All right. Um, da, 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 da. So we will go about there. Sorry, I'm not chitty chatty. I'm over here concentrating, <laughs> trying to line up my hearts. All right. And that is pretty much it. Now I'm going to spritz this down until I can get to the sink and clean it. And see if I can clean the finger. But yeah. There we go. Hopefully you can see that. And that's what it will look like. Like I said, if you've got a, a bigger sheet that you want to use and you put a bow up there, you can do that. You could do like a little hearts trim on either side. However you would like to do that. But that is one project idea. You can use the back of your, your cutting board. This one has a hole in it. So I have a nail and I also have an area that I have a cup hook. I can just go ahead and hang that on. And I can display that. And then when I'm ready to use my cookie sheet again, I just scrape it off with the, uh, excuse me, the paste scraper from Chalk Couture. Tell you it's a lifesaver. And then just go ahead and wash it off and it's good to go. Ready to use again. All right, that is project one. All right, next one I'm going to do is with the board and base here. All right, 
This is, it has a saying on the other side that I used, uh, I did in a different video. And I'll be using Love is Brewing Fresh Daily. And it's got a little coffee cup there. So I'll be using this one. And this transfer is called, this is the Kickstart, part of the Kickstart, Fresh Coffee Daily. That's the name of this transfer, so that way you can look for it. So this one, I think I'm going to do all this in white, and I think I'm going to do the coffee cup in camel. I think I'm going to do it that way. All right, my scissors. And I thought this would be really cute if you like um, a gift bag, like a coffee gift bag for a coffee lover. You know, like a bag of, you know, specialty coffee beans for, for them and get a muslin bag and then just you put that on there. I thought that would be a really cute idea. Okay. Now this is the Borden base. This is a reusable surface. The Chocotour has, I have a black one, and in the summer and spring collection, I'm going to have a white board with a, the base. But you can have it horizontal, or you can have it vertical, depending on what your design is. Like this one, it's vertical. This one's going to be horizontal, so I'm just going to flip it that way. Now, I'm not doing any embellishing. The only one I'm going to do is some kind of embellishing will be with the the rainbow. And I think I might only do, because that one's going to take a while for me to, oh, okay, we'll write on here fresh daily. I'll just do fresh. Okay, remember to mark the back. And I just peel it off. Do you need a fuzz? Now, I don't need to fuzz it as much as I did to put on the metal. Two or three times would be good for this because this is a re reusable surface. It does have a slight texture to it. That should be good. Okay, don't see anything sticking there. I'm going to stand up so I can try to um, eyeball this. Like I said, if you... You like to be exact and precise and measured by all means do. And if you prefer to use other colors, you can do that too. I'm just trying to give you some ideas and inspiration. Oh, that's a little too close on that side. I need to move it over. Um, and show you how easy it is. I mean, this is really easy. It's taken more, It takes more time to figure out your colors and do a little bit of prep. That does to actually do the project. Especially these reusable surfaces. I love these reusable surfaces. Because you just want to change it out, clean it off, another design, you're good to go. Um, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm going to do all this in white except for the coffee cup. The coffee cup I'm going to do in camel. My squeegee. Yeah, this one. Is this the new one? No, that's the new one. Okay. I should have stirred this. All right. Now you can do, well, this is a uh, black base, but I mean, if you want to do this in other colors, by all means, you, you know, you can do that. You are in control of how you would like your projects and your decor to look. This is really easy. You just put it on. And especially if you're doing everything in one color. It goes by really quick. Okay, I'm just going to scrape off some of this excess. Got to be careful. I got my coffee cup there. Now I'm going to get the little fresh daily down here. Alright. I'm going to 
This is the camel. I like the camel. That's a nice neutral. Okay, stir that up a little bit. Yeah, I should have stirred these, pre-stirred these. They start to get a little dry. Just add a little distilled water to them and give them a stir. And they're good. They need to be the consistency of um, yogurt. I mean, some pastes are a little bit thicker than others. I think it's just the nature of the beast, probably. But that's about the consistency you're looking for. So I need to add a little bit to there. All right, that is it. That one's pretty much done. You just grab it by the corners. You pull it up from the middle. And you slowly lift it up. So that way, if you missed anything, you can lay it back down and reapply. And there you go. It is that quick. I love this Borden base. That it, I have to admit that and the uh, Aiden and Sylvie boards. I absolutely love those. All right, I'm going to lay this down over here and give it a spritz. Now you can let this air dry if you would like. Oh, there's one thing I did forget to do. Is oh, okay, it's going to fit on there because there is some depth to this. Usually I check to see. But yeah, and that's it. project number two. I really like how that turned out. I like that. Hope you do too. All right, that is project two. Project three. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do this one. All right. Now this is the sunshine one. I think it is. Yeah, feels like sunshine. Now this has a little rainbow. It says stay close to people who feel like sunshine. And they also have the little arch. You could probably replace it in here. I haven't tried that, but I'm going to do something separate. Something beautiful is on the horizon. So I am going to be using this one on here on this, this little card. Little card stack card. You can adhere this to a, you know, on a refrigerator with a magnet. If you have a little, little holder or you just that you could place this in or push pin and put it on one of your boards or a magnet magnetic board you can do that just for to have a little bit of inspiration if you're in the office or at your home home office wherever but don't forget these all these transfers come in a sleeve be sure to hold on to your sleeves and your backing sheets okay I need to move these to the side and I pre-wax this with the surface wax this is the surface wax and I went ahead and I pre-waxed this. This does have some texture to it, but because it is going on paper, I do you do need to wax and you need to fuzz, fuzz, fuzz. All right, I'm just letting you know. But in addition to this little saying on here, oops, wrong thing. I got too much stuff on this table. Uh, I'm gonna be putting the shell in there. So, and this is this is retired. In any of the um, for YouTube watchers, any of the products that are available for these transfers, any of the tools or supplies, as long as they are in line at the time that I'm making this video, I will post a uh, shopping cart link below that you can edit it, you can add, subtract to it. But these transfers, as far as I know, well, this one's retired, so forget this one. But the, uh, the three that I am doing projects with, the 31st is the last day. So I need my scissors. Cut this out. And I'm going to use the white paste. So I'm putting it on this dark blue. I was thinking about doing the shimmer frost, but it looks like silver. On here, I think the Shimmer Frost does better on glass. But on a darker color, it looks like silver. And I thought, well, that's not what I want. So white it is. I'm going to set that one aside because I'm going to be reusing it. The rainbow part. Now these are little fine lines here. Here, I'll just... Some things I do better standing up than sitting down. This is one of them. Don't know why that is, but it is. I know, watching me cut this out is like watching paint dry. So exciting. 
<laughs> but it is the process. You're getting real time. Pretty close to it. I try to do a couple things to save some time because I, I was doing so many projects. If I was just doing a video per project, I would have taken a little bit more time and shown you how to wax the paper and, and buff it. Oh, okay. We're going to do Horizon on here, and I'm going to do Shell on here. Got to mark the backing. All right, all oh, the white. Okay, so horizon. You peel it. Here's your shiny side. That's the side that your transfer is going to go back on once it dries. Oh, I need a fuzz. What would I oh. That would not have been good. Now I'm going to have to fuzz this one quite a bit. Even though I waxed the surface, it does have some slight texture to it. Now I have not tried waxing, I'm, not, I'm sorry, paste, putting paste on this paper. So I'm hoping there is not any bleed through because it does have a slight texture to it. Not going to know until I try. But I need to uh, fuzz this quite a bit. And like I said, um, if you don't have a fuzzing cloth, you can use a towel, dish towel, you know, a sweatshirt, t-shirt, something that's just going to take some of the uh, stickiness off the back. And these are reusable. Okay, uh, I stated earlier, these um, chocolate says they were reusable up to, uh, eight to ten times. And many designers have stated that they've gotten much more use out of them. It just depends on how you take care of them, what you what surfaces you use them on. Oh, that's still pretty sticky. I mean, I know I wax that surface. It's to help keep the uh, smooth the surface and to help prevent these from sticking too strongly onto the paper. I had gotten a uh, club transfer and didn't know about the wax, and this is when it was all new to me. And it was actually my first transfer I ever got, and I was all excited about it, and I put it on my black paper. <laughs> Yeah, I have black paper stuck to that transfer. I learned my lesson, so it's like, oh, now I know what they mean by wax. Duh. All right, we're gonna give this a try. All right. Okay. Like I said, you can measure. I try to cut this uh, piece of card to the size of this transfer. Let's see. Please, please, please. All right, beautiful. Beautiful. It will come up nicely. All right. Well, I'm going to need to get me some more white paste. I use white paste quite a bit. And I'm just going to generously apply it on here so that way I know I have good coverage. And then you just scrape off the excess with the bevel side so you see the pattern underneath. That way you know you have um, good even coverage and a nice thin coat. Okay. Now I'm going to start at a corner here. I like how that turned out. All right, I'm going to lay this one down and I'm going to give it a spritz. Put that one there. I need to move my board. All right, 
right. I'm going to be using my um, dryer here to dry this. I want to put the, uh, the shell underneath there. Now I was thinking about doing camel, peachy keen, and then the white at the top. You know, see if I can kind of like just do a blend or a ombre effect. We'll see. Oops, I'm melting my wax. <laughs> it's got heat on it. I forgot to melt in my wax here. All right. So now I'm going to do the shell. Now I have not tried ombre effect, so we're doing that. So we're going to see how this turns out. I thought that would be nice with the blue. All right, I need to fuzz this. Now there's not as much surface to stick there, but I thought that would look really pretty. A little shell underneath there. And there's a little bit of distressing. Hopefully you can see that. And like I've said, um, if at any point during this video, my ideas of giving, you know, what I'm doing is giving you some inspiration or some other ideas, by all means, please, um, it would help me with YouTube algorithm, and I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe, give it a thumbs up, like this video, and also if you could hit that notification bell so that way you are notified of whenever I do a video. Now I usually do shorter videos. I think there's been one, one or maybe two of the longer ones that I have done, but because these transfers. Uh, you can't get them after the 31st as far as I know. I want to do a video showing you ideas of what you can make with these. And that way you have an opportunity. I mean, I've got a lot going on in my personal life with my husband's illness. And um, I haven't been able to get the videos up as soon as I would care for. But I thought it would only be right for me to try to do this for you so that way you would know. some white and all right I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this just, okay this is one of the stir sticks I'm just kind of winging this right now <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing here I'm just trying to kind of blend this a little bit and we're gonna hope for the best all right I'm gonna wipe this off I want to do some, oh, I, I love this color. I'm not really a pastel person, but that is a really pretty peachy pink color. I guess that's why they call it peachy king. All right, I'm going to do a little bit more. I know this is way more than what I need, but I'd rather have too much than not enough. All right, that's all peach. Okay, we're good with that. And then... Do some camel. Yeah, I definitely need to add some distilled water to that. And let's just see how this turns out. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Alright. So, I think I'm going to go upside down. I'm going to go from the bottom to the top to try to blend that. If I can. Alright. Let's see. I have no jar that has those three colors in it. Oh, is it just done? I mean, it's like Neapolitan, Neapolitan ice cream. <laughs> um, I'm just going to scrape it off on my plate there. Alright, let's peel this and see how this looks. I like how that turned out. I do. I like that. I hope you do too. Or you might want to use your own color uh, combination. Maybe some blues or, you know, that tied in some of the white. If you're using a different color background, I just thought that would show up really nice on this dark, this dark blue. And there you go. And that's project number three. Now you can add this, like like I said, you can pin this, like let's say you've got a cork board or you've got a magnetic board and just put a stick of magnet on there. 
you know, on your refrigerator. Just a little something nice, you know, you might have a little card holder on your desk or one of those acrylic frames. Just put that in there as a little inspiration for every day. Okay, that's number three. Now this one is probably going to take some time. Project here that I am going to do. I'm going to be using the Aiden board. This is a 9 by 12. And why I'm using it is because it's magnetic. Now let's say you do not have the Aiden board. You've got the Sylvie board, which I will show you the Sylvie board. It's just it's the same kind of. Well, I should. This is a Sylvie board. The one that I have has a black frame in white surface. This is a reusable surface. They also have one that has a white frame with a black surface. Okay? It's just the frame is different and the, um, the surface is black instead of the white. Okay? I just wanted to show you that. But this is the Aiden board that is magnetic. The Sylvie board is not magnetic. So if you have a Sylvie board, or if let's say you have your own frame, picture frame at home, and it's not magnetic, you can always, you know, use some ribbon or do a bow at the top. And you'll see what I'm referring to because I'm going to be putting the rainbow on here. Okay? And I just wanted to use it with this frame because I'm going to do the... The rainbow in white on the blue. I thought that would be a, a nice change. I just wasn't sure what shade of blue I wanted to use. And I decided to go with this dark, this dark blue, kind of almost like a navy color. Now this is part of the uh, feels like sunshine transfer. Alright, and And I pre-cut this card so that way it would fit the transfer. So that way if you wanted to punch a hole in it and make it into a mobile, you could do that also. Or like I said, if it was not if your board is not magnetic or you have a picture frame, you put a hole in there and you can put a ribbon on there and you can just drape it over the frame and tape it in the back. Alright, that's just some ideas with that. Alright, what am I doing here? Now this is the final final project. And I'm going to write on here rainbow. And I need to fuzz. Sometimes it's a little hard to get it started. There we go. Remember your shiny side, once your transfer is dry after it's cleaned, you adhere it to that side. So now I'm just going to fuzz. And I need to fuzz fairly well. Hopefully after tomorrow I will be able to do YouTube Lives. <laughs> I wanted to do Facebook and YouTube Live at the same time, but I did not realize what YouTube I had to have because uh, I haven't tried to do a YouTube Live before. I did not know I needed to um, enable that and they would have to give me 24 hours before I could go live. It's like, oh. I thought, well, I'll do my Facebook Live and I will do record this for, for those of you that are subscribed or new watchers to my YouTube channel. And like I said, if you'd like to join my Facebook group for uh, the chalking, be sure to comment below in the video, join, and I will post the link so you can join. I pretty much post in there little tips and tricks and any like restock updates, things like that that are going on. Yeah, I um, I've seen their spring or their, yeah their spring summer catalog, and that starts February eighth. So a lot of things that are on the website right now 
Um, that's my chocolate tour host at website. I will post a link there if you'd like to shop for you know transfers or ink or any of the paste that is in stock. They um, they've got their um, those holiday transfers are going to be gone. February seventh, they're gone. So if you see any of those up there that you would like to get, be sure that you do, and I would greatly appreciate it. I do earn a commission, and any orders placed through the links that I give you. And it is appreciated. All right, I think that should be okay. All right, same thing as I did with the with the Horizon one. Just kind of eyeballing this a little bit here. All right, I put my finger in the middle. I go up, down, side, side. And then I just smooth it out with my hands, make sure there are no wrinkles or little air bubbles or anything like that. And if you're able to feel any little lumps or fuzzies, it might be on there preventing your transfer from good contact. Then you can just peel it up and take care of that before you start pasting. And make sure, yep, it feels good. I'm going to do this in white. And... I just thought the white would look really nice with this dark blue. Alright. I need to move kind of quick here. The heat is going full blast and it's drying things up much quicker than I care for. <laughs> but I don't want to freeze either. It's been awfully cold here in Michigan. We're supposed to have a heat wave, I think, by... Tuesday, we're supposed to be like 40. Looking forward to that. Okay. Now, why I say this project is going to probably take a little bit longer, um, I'll just show you the beginning part of it. I probably will finish it, like I said earlier, in this video. And in this live on Facebook, um, I'll finish it and I'll just post pictures later. Because I'm going to punch holes on the bottom of this and I have some extra yarn from a crochet project that I had done. And I want to do little, little um, I guess, larks, lark head knot. They're not tassels, but if you got tassels, you can use tassels too. On the bottom of the rainbow. I thought that would be kind of neat. I see. I got some inspiration from some other designers. They, you, you know, did like spring colors on theirs, and they had uh, tassels. I'm like, oh, that look really cool. If I just did some, you know, works like that. So, okay, got this on here. Put it on now to peel and reveal. All right, start at the corners, and then you want to lift from the middle. And slowly, that way if you did miss anything, you can lay it back down and touch it up. But so far, so good. Oh, that is just cute. Okay. So because I'm going to be handling this, I'm going to um, try to dry this a little bit. I do hope you uh, you like what you've seen so far, and uh, that it does give you some ideas and shows you how easy this really is. I know it's easy it is quick and easy, professional results, and you can um, decorate whatever colors you would like, whatever fits your color scheme, or you know for gifts for other people. There's so many things, you know, it gives you the flexibility to do that. I just want to try to give you some ideas and some inspiration. Okay, yeah, that feels pretty dry. All right. Now, Chocolate Tour does sell a, um, you think I could find it, they call it a power punch. 
I don't need something this powerful on, on card stock, but they have this power punch. Um, that's really good on the chocolate chips. I um, but I don't need something that powerful. This like, little you know card stock. So so just a uh, whole punch will do. Now the trick is going to be for me to um, <laughs> get this somewhat lined up. So, I think I've had too much coffee. I got a little bit of the shakes here. Okay. As you can tell, I'm eyeballing and it's not exactly straight. I mean, if you want to draw a line on there, by all means do. I would suggest that. <laughs> but if you want more of that kind of a little bit of handmade charm to it, just go right ahead and do what I'm doing here. I probably should be punching these a little bit lower. I don't think my cord is going to be... Oops, that one's way off. Oh, well. But anyhow, you just go across. Yeah, definitely draw a line. If you want it exactly straight. <laughs> Leave it to me. I'm over here living on the wild side. Let's get this all crooked. Okay, now that I got hole punches, save that for confetti. Um, I had some extra yarn, like I had stated, from a crochet project that I had previously. So I cut, I think there were six inch lengths here, and I cut 20 of them. All right, because if I count it right, that should be 20 holes. Two, four, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 16, 18. Oops, I meant to do two here. Okay, oh well. Okay, set that aside. And then what you do is you just take them, you fold them in half, and you just do a simple arc, arc's head knot. Now, I like, it's easier for me to go forward and then thread it through, but if I do that, then you don't have the line. So I'm going to turn it backwards. And I'm going to start here for right now to give you an idea. Because I don't know if you want to sit here and watch me do all 20 of these. Or 18, I should say. To give you the idea. See, that's where the line is. If you do it forward, if you, you know... If you're facing the side and you just do what I did, it's going to look like that. So it's whatever, whichever way, hold on, can you see? I don't know if you can see or not. I think Facebook can see. Let me see if I can get this to where you can see on YouTube. There you go. It will look like that. That's why I turned it backwards because I wanted the line. It just, for me, it's easier instead of going forward. But I will show you how to do that if you don't want to do it that way. You've got to go down and through. You can do it. Whatever is easiest for you. For me, that's what's easiest. And there we go. And you can make them a little bit longer. You can add tassels if you want. But for me, I prefer to do it this way. And I think you get the idea. I Like I said, I don't think you want to finish watching the video of me doing all of these. But I want to do enough so that way you can get the idea and the effect of what I'm talking about. So I figure six or so of these should be good. 
And if you have thicker yarn, that's fine. I just grabbed what I had. You know, you if you've got some cotton twine or cotton yarn or roping or something like that that you prefer to use, use whatever you would like to use. Like I said, you can even use tassels. You might have some tassels. And you might want it, might not want to do it all the way across. You might just want to do it on, on certain sections. You are in control of how you like your design to look. I am just trying to give you some ideas. And why do I keep messing this one up? Because I'm talking. I don't know why. I seem to be having issues with this one. Okay. All right, you just need to deal with two more. And I will finish this off um, off camera. I might do it in my Facebook group. They're used to me doing things that, like watching paint dry, literally. <laughs> um, they're used to that. I, I do experiments and stuff in there. A little behind the scenes stuff on occasion. Some people like that, some people don't, you know, hey. Can't please everybody. All right, one more, just to give you an idea. But when I finish this, I will post a picture at the end of this video on YouTube. And um, I'll see if I can post it in the thumbnail picture. I'm not sure, because I've got a lot to post on there. I'm not sure if it's going to fit or not. All right. That gives you some idea. And then work with me here. Imagine, just imagine you've got all these little, little strings all the way across. All right. You clip on your little magnet. You set it on there. And you've got your frame. And there you go. And there is the fourth project. Just an idea. And let's say you don't have a frame, the magnet. Punch a hole at the top and tie a ribbon. You can hang it on the wall. You can use it as a mobile. You know, that's just too cute. I think that is just absolutely adorable. So that's the fourth project. This was the third one, I believe. Here's another one. Then we've got the board and base with Love is Brewing Fresh Daily. Okay. And then we have the cookie sheet. Cook, eat, clean, repeat. And we've got the cookie sheet. So there are the four projects. I do hope you enjoy this. I hope this gave you some inspiration and ideas and that you are able to get those transfers. Because from what I understand, as of the end of the 31st, they will be bye-bye. Uh, They'll be gone. So I do hope you're able to get them. And even if you don't, I hope this gives you some inspiration for maybe some other transfers that you may have or maybe in the future. All right. Thank you so much for watching.